All right, we're gonna do a pressure pressurization test. I just uh, I just filled that up, so my level's where it needs to be. Ugh, what the fuck is that now? It's probably just because I spilled some up there. Or is it? Yeah, it's just me being a slob. No, that's not a leak. Um, definitely doesn't help. I'm trying to find leaks, but he's spilling shit everywhere. But... Looking down here, this is where we saw coolant last time, so I'm just gonna put the pressure thing on there. So we're gonna use the truck adapter. I'm gonna use the same cap, right? Gonna make sure you're getting a good sealing surface. See that rubber here? You, know, you obviously want this to uh, get in here as tight as possible to avoid any leaks, right? I'll just leave a little, uh, I don't know, let's see. I mean, a dab will do you. Yeah. Cool one if we can find some somewhere. Oh, Jesus. I think that's enough. So I'll just take some, put it on a seal. It'll help, uh, it'll actually help us get a better seal. Now, we're going to need to seal this to the neck. So, that's where these come in. That's why it's important you don't lose these things. There's all these different size, um, like O-rings and stuff. This one, this one, all this is meant for is making sure you get the height. I'll show you what I mean. It's on now. All right, very loose. Well, that's very good. Well, what we wanna do, take this off actually for now so we can really put this on first get a good seal on it the reason it's not sealing obviously need something to go down in there like this typically is usually will work and it's going to require you to you know you're going to have to uh I don't even know if that's good enough, you know? Just for good measure, you know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on too. Because why the fuck not? Every little bit helps. This is the trick. Get the good seal. And as you're turning this, it's pulling it down, right? So, now what you want to do is put this, uh, hook up your pressure tester, screw that on, and then you're just going to drop this down. It's just tough because I only got one hand to do this. Alright, well, that's down. Now basically it's just a matter of pumping pressure. So, you know, we got some pressure in there, right? Pump it up. Um, so, I mean, you get leak down. Could be coming from a couple different ways. It could be leaking there, obviously. You can just spray it with, uh, you know, some simple green or something. But it looks like it's holding pressure. So, we know it was leaking before down at the cap. And I'll just give you an idea. So now this is pressurized. So that's going to be the coolant that's going to simulate the, the coolant being hot. Because that's typically when it's going to leak. So when the engine's running, the water pump's running, it gets hot, it expands. That's where the pressure comes from. Um, so I'll just take a quick little peeksy into here. Um, I don't really see anything leaking out of there anymore. So we we'll tighten the clamps. Probably remedied it for now. I would probably just change those, but uh, we'll let that be a prime problem. Um, what we'll do is we'll, I'll go on to my other things I was working on. I'll just check that in like five minutes. See where it's at, see if it leaks out. I'll go check around all the different parts of the cooling system, see if there's anything leaking out anywhere. You know, your usual suspects, a water pump. Anywhere you see in drips. See anything going on here, do you? Know? 
don't see anything going on here. Anything? Me either. Nothing. Nothing. I don't know what the fuck that is over there. Piss bottle maybe, who knows. Water pump seems okay. It seems like it's holding pressure everywhere. Block heater connections look good. Um, thermostat housing. In all the places is cool it. Anywhere there's a hose clamp basically that attaches to the coolant system. Any line fitting, anything else. That's just me shaking it. Um, so I mean, you remember where it was last time, right? It's pretty much holding um, pressure. If I find it, I'll show it to you, but I'm pretty sure that that loose clamp was our issue down there. So I'm not gonna really freaking spend a bunch of time on it and move on to the next thing. But so that's how you do that. Simple, simple, simple. Well, back to the leak situation. I was doing a little vacuuming over there and then we came across this little butte. Remember we left it pressurized, right? So that's coming down there pretty good. It's obviously coming from above. It's dripping down on top of there. Pretty obvious what's going on here. Oh, where's that coming from, you might ask? Hold on, I'll show you. Just wait a minute, will you? So anyway, oh, so we're still, uh, we're, we're losing pressure. You know, pretty decent. We're up uh, probably three quarters of the way into the blue last time. Uh, we're gonna have to do some Star Trek, Star Trek type stuff here. Oh, see, there's the trail. So let's get this in here like that. And then there's your leak, fellas. So you wanted me to find it. I found it. There it is. You need a new radiator. Or we can try to fix that one. But, you know, you might want to try cleaning these things once in a while. They don't really work too well if they're not clean. So, um, but whatever. Um, yeah, so can we hold off on the back end stuff? Because I feel like this machine's going to be down for a bit. Anyways, there you go.